Do you see a notification that says we've begun recording? Yep. Okay, cool. Hey guys, um, if you're watching this right now, I'm here with Danny Ruiz. He is a member of the California Surf Fishing Group. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So our Facebook group is California Surf Fishing CSF on Facebook. Please join us, ask your questions, and share your fishing reports. Um, Danny is 30 years old. He's in LA right now, and that's where he's from. He has lived in the Bay Area. He's lived in Austin. He has a background in tech, and um, he surf fishes. He fishes from boats. But what he's doing is really interesting. He's trying to create a web application to help us catch more fish in the surf, right? Or is this also does this also apply to boating or only surf fishing? It can apply to boating, but for now, I'm really focused on surf for now. From shore fishermen, that's the main primary audience I want to get right first before uh, I really focus on the larger area. But yeah. Okay, cool. And what is this? Do you have a name for this app that you're developing yet? What is it called? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, called Fish Notify. Uh, the name came from essentially uh, I wanted to be able to get quick alerts on what the next like upcoming week looks like. What, what what's going to be the best day to go out and fish, right? And like what times are going to be great for me to go. Because I have so much going on in my life, I want something very, very simple to be like, hey, this is a good time based on these oh, criteria. Wow. So this is almost like a AI surf fishing advisor. And it yeah. just notifies you, hey, there's a good opportunity coming up. Hey, there's a good opportunity coming up. So you're like, hmm, do I have time? I can maybe I can jump on that. Boy, I yeah. want that app. Please make it. So <laughs> why don't you go ahead and share your screen right now and show us how it works or what where you're at right now? And I understand this is in development, early stages. It's not polished or anything. That's totally cool. I'm sure anyone who's watching will understand that this is in development. I think I think we're all gonna get pretty pumped about this. Cool. Well, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks, Mitch. Uh, let me uh, let me share my screen and let's uh, let's dive in then. All righty. And um, guys, while he's sharing his screen, I want to. Uh, remind you all to support your local tackle shop go visit your local tackle shop because when you think about it ever since the advent of the internet and of big box stores it's made it really hard for small local tackle shops uh to thrive and they need our support and when you need something they are there to offer it whatever you need it's the one place you know you can get it today so please support your local tackle shops all right danny take it from there hard to agree on that <laughs> so here we go so here's the site right like, uh, like Vince mentioned, it's in beta right now, and it's called fishnotify.com. Uh, Are you able to expand that full screen? Is that possible? Uh, like make it even larger? Yeah, let me try to. No, I, I, just so that I just want to make sure people are getting a really good view. Okay. Yeah, it is, is like, good? yeah, it is what yeah. it is. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. This is the, I can maybe zoom in a little if, if you like, but this is the current view. I know it's a little small maybe on, on the screen. Where do but, you uh, enter a beach or coastal city? And we'll tell you how good the fishing is over the next seven days. That's badass. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, as you can tell, the, the user interface here is pretty poppy, right? Like the bright colors and you have a little wave animation. Um, the goal of this is to keep it very, very simple, right? Simple and hopefully accurate over time. But uh, I want to make it quick and easy, quick and easy. So um, maybe we can start, right? There's only one thing you can do on this page. Well, there's two actually. You can sign up for weekly alerts. But let's start with this, the first one. Um, enter a beach or a city. Yeah. Is there anywhere in particular you want to try this? Well, shucks. Then this covers any species? <laughs> any species? I will, it's it's um, primarily like the species you can catch in the surf, right? So for now, like uh, you enter a beach area and based on just general conditions for good fishing, for surf fishing, uh, we're going to give you a score. And does it make the distinction between halibut and perch or is it just giving you in general, hey, these are good conditions for fishing? Yeah, in general for now, but the, the AI yeah. portion what I'm working on right now that's creaking is going to take a little more time is okay. the species by species report to be like, hey, like maybe you want to go for halibut on a low tide to get further out near uh, near yeah. some like structure or something, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's coming, but yeah. Um, why don't you just go ahead and punch in? I'm thinking of an area that has any sort of species. Um, Ventura, just uh, 93001. Cool. So let's type in Ventura. I have a little auto suggest here. Let's do uh, Ventura, California, and let's see if it's fishy. All right. So first thing that pops up here, I'll zoom in a little bit if that helps. Seventy-two out of a hundred. Yeah. So we have a seventy-two out of a hundred on this, and you can see there's different scores from ranging from bad all the way up to exceptional. And it looks like today is a below average day for fishing, right? And the first thing you're probably wondering is why. 
Um, and there's a lot that's kind of going into it, right? I think the key factor and the reason why it's low for today is the swell height's around six feet. And um, I guess if you're fishing from surf, you know, you, you normally six feet a little high, right? You yeah, want to be careful about yeah, like, like, yeah. This is a little on the dangerous side. It, and yeah. I noticed it's not telling us the energy, the wave energy reading like you would see on surf forecasts. In fact, mm. I've only seen that wave energy reading on maybe two different apps. But I, I just mm. want to suggest it, it might be helpful because so many people are starting to speak that language. So they mm. represent wave energy in the form of a number like 500, 800, 900. I know it's a generalization, but I just wanted to point that out that it, it might be helpful if it's possible to work that in. So swell height, five really good one. Swell period is at 12 seconds. So that tells me, I mean, I'm pretty experienced. I know if the waves are at six feet and they're at 12 seconds, that's pretty dang powerful, pretty, pretty mm -hmm. powerful. And I, I definitely want to be careful out there. Yeah. Wind speed, um, pressure, water temp is at 54. Um, and also I see there's no high tide on the, uh, during sunlight. So that I could see how that would yeah. mark the score down. Although you do have a low tide of, I can't read it. It's like minus 0.3, I think. Minus point three, right, right. So yeah, you're right. No high tide. I like to personally fish high tides for most like general species. Um, I feel like the bite just better for me in my local area. And um, so kind of yeah, it kind of sucks as nothing during sunlight for for the high tide today. Um, and the fishing times or like the tide times do have an impact on whether like on the on the overall score for the for the day. And um, and I'm curious to hear your preference as well. But going back to your feedback wave energy, that's actually a really good um, point. Um, I think that's a factor of like, wave height and it's also a uh, period, right? Like how long the wave period is can, um, depends on like how powerful the wave will be, like the wave energy. So I think it's like in measured in kilojoules and uh, I can look into adding that for sure. Um, I know there's like different formulas out there, but uh, that's a really good suggestion. Yeah, kilojoules. I've seen forecast, yeah. Yeah, the wave energy kilojoules would be a nice touch. And then if I could see the uh, variety of species and I could put little check marks next to the species that I want to target like halibut, white sea bass, calico bass, or maybe I select mm. large surf perch and cr yellowfin croaker. And then it'll, it'll modify the rating uh, based on the species that I'm targeting. Uh, sorry to throw more workload at you, but I just think these are features <laughs> that people are, are going to appreciate. Okay. Yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. I'm writing them down for sure. Yeah, and there's no, um, there's no harm in starting simple and then and then developing a version 2.0, version 3.0, and taking feedback from people and integrating those things as as you go in the future. I think you're off to a rad start, though, man. I love the interface. I love the colors and the simplicity of the layout and everything, and it's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. Um, thanks so far. I mean, yeah, it, like I said, work in progress, but like you also have the other days of the week, too, to see like what does it look like across the board. Um, so... Oh, yeah, you can see it's so looking like it, there's a good day coming up on Thursday the 25th. Yeah, it looks pretty looks pretty decent. Um and so like that's what I'm trying to work on, right? Like I think different fishermen might have different um you know, times they want to go fish, preferences and so on. But I think in general, these kind of align with, with things I've I realized, right? And I put a lot of different factors into the algorithm, such as like wind speed matters a lot, right? Swell height, swell period, even falling pressure. Um for me, I've noticed hey. falling pressure actually turns on a bite for me. Uh, same thing with water. Yeah, like water temp as well, right? A single degree in a water temp. Um, it ticks up. It, it turn that, bite. Might, yeah. that might get them more active. Yeah. And if it ticks yeah. down, that might shut them down. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind um, providing you with my parameters for halibut fishing versus my parameters for surf perch fishing versus. So, um, you know, like. For halibut, I'm looking for the lowest possible swell. For white sea bass, I don't mind uh, a little bit bigger swell. Uh, for perch fishing too, I don't mind a little bit bigger swell. So um, I'd be happy to just give you like a breakdown or a list. I could email you my parameters. I think it would be helpful to, to, to get that information from maybe the most successful fisherman in the surf. You might want to talk to this guy over here and that guy over there and kind of collect mm. parameters so you can work them into your algorithm. For sure, yeah. I mean, that'd be much appreciated, definitely um that's exactly what i'm trying to do right and my species are gonna be awesome different like it, it's yeah i think that'd be that'd be great all right um and do you have any other fe other features on here that you'd like to show us oh uh, yeah i mean just basically the rest of the the pages are just or the rest of the this single page it's just the other days and go into detail if you want to see the different tide times and the different recommended time to go fishing and so on um but the other feature as well um 
there's just one other one, which is sign up for weekly alerts. So remember I was mentioning about like get notified. Yeah, it's a good day coming up, a good so time. You're So you're going about your day and all of a sudden you get a text message alert. Hey, fishing's exactly. gonna be great on this day, a few days from now. So, you know, check your agenda and see if you can make it. That'd be badass. Yes. Cause sometimes you yeah. forget to check it. You, you're, you don't have time to check conditions and man, it takes me a long time to go through and check all conditions. It'd be wonderful yeah. to have an app that just, Tells me there's a good opportunity to go and it shows me right there. This is yeah. next level, dude. I just want to make awesome. one request um, for all the different species that you include the mm -hmm. midshipmen on the list. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that again? You got to include the midshipmen. Okay. Species. And I'll tell you all about the, the best conditions for midshipmen. Yeah, okay. That's a joke. <laughs> there's no such thing. Well, there is a midshipman. No, no. That's a joke within the surf fishing community. Never mind. It was a <laughs> my joke totally bombed. God, I'm a terrible comedian. I was like uh, midshipman. I haven't. I haven't heard that one. Oh, yeah. what, is, what is that one though? Well, you have to target them with ultralight test, and they're really hard to catch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was like oh, I got that was like a little some local slang in, in your area or something. <laughs> no, this is. This is not, I'm surprised that you never heard of this. If you go on surf fishing groups, anytime someone posts a picture of a fish and says. Ident ID, please. What is this? Everybody inevitably <laughs> always replies with midshipman. No, I gotcha. <laughs> it's just an inside joke. I, I thought I control, yeah. if you had a little icon for midshipman, but dude, that'd be <laughs> funny. Yeah, if you want to be specific to like the groups, it'd be the yeah. equivalent of like putting. It would be the equivalent of like like putting like um like a mermaid on there or something. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> No, that's funny though. I, I wonder if uh, if that'll apply, like those type of, of inside kind of jokes. Because uh, I'm looking to have this on both like different sides of coasts, right? And like maybe even Golby eventually too. So oh, I'm curious wow. to see, like, yeah, like I definitely want to apply to other areas. So something that feels inclusive to the surfacing community, but can be applied across, you know. Other that's areas, great. This, right? this is not a California surf fishing app. This is a global surf fishing or fishing in general app. This is not just surf fishing. You said this could also eventually you could have a boat version as well. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's where I want to branch out to eventually. And not like if you're on the coast and you're fishing from a beach, I think that like I want to help you catch more fish, right? Wherever you are in general. And um, I and I'm definitely using AI. So like I'm working in AI to be able to figure out what are the best local fishing conditions based on knowledge the AI has, right? Because you can train models on um, depending on location to be like, hey, in general, it's recommended these these uh, you know, this tackle or recommended this uh, these species, these times, and integrate that so that it's all just packaged and ready to go for wherever the user's at. If they're in North Carolina, they're in Florida, or they're in maybe um, Indonesia, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, cool. so that's kind of where I want to go out to um, eventually. But for now, really just want feedback from the local California community because that's kind of what I fish. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So well, I can see the problem that you're solving is because it takes so long to go over here for wave forecast and now over here for the wind and then over here for the tides and over here for the water temp. And then you got to do that for multiple days. So I went out and got myself a little agenda day planner where I could write, okay, on this day, I see these conditions and then I have multiple locations. There's just too much. It's too much to do by myself. I could spend hours researching conditions. So it'd be great for you to make that faster and easier where you input, hey, these are my these are my zip codes or my cities, my locations. These are the species I'm interested in. Just notify me. Let me know when, when conditions are good. I, I love it. Anything to help oh, me cool. save time, and but I'm lazy, and I, this is great. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. Yeah, thanks for the feedback. I mean, uh, I have a couple questions for you, though. Uh, but first, were you going to say something? Sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, where can where can people subscribe by email so they can be updated, uh, where they can be notified when the notify when this notify app is is available, or when they can sign up and start testing it and doing the beta testing and stuff. Like, where where do they go? I think first, uh, it'd be great for uh, everyone to just go to this. They can actually visit fishnotify.com. It's live right now, technically, but it's in beta. So uh, please be uh, just know that I'm working on things, but it works right now. Yeah. So um, so if you just go to fishnotify.com and then go to sign up for weekly alerts, and then uh, you can just fill this out. And um, I'll have your email address and definitely send out email alerts for when so it's was, ready to go. So people can actually like really follow the. Uh, experience of this thing developing and getting more and more accurate and so they can be a part of that and, and be on the cutting edge oh wow that's cool whenever something new yeah. comes out that's really advantageous it's always good to be on that cutting edge and be there 
or as it shows up because that's your advantage. You don't want to be late to the party while everybody else already has this power, this knowledge and power. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest everybody go to Fish Notify, sign up, and just you know, just kind of follow to see how it goes because over the next year, two years, three years, this thing's going to get more and more accurate and more and more powerful. Cool. Now, exactly. um, is there anything else you want to share before we end this call? I want to keep it short so that people can watch the whole thing, digest it. Is there anything else you want to share before I hit stop? Uh, just, yeah, I mean, um, I had a question for you, actually. Um, just as far as the accuracy, right? Um, I know that there's many different apps out there, right? And uh, you can get your 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 wind from like the wind forecast from like our wind finder. Maybe you can go to uh, surf forecast. <laughs> I'm sorry uh, to find like the the wave energy and like the the swells and and so on. You can go to tides for fishing for. There's a lot of information out there, right? And I I've noticed personally that they vary quite a bit, right? Yeah, um, yeah. And so, um, how much does accuracy matter to you? Like in when you're out there fishing, like, is it, if it's within like a certain range or you're like, oh, I mean, I trust the site, I've been out before and it kind of lines up good enough and it's good. Is accuracy the most important thing? Is, that is. Or is time tape? Yeah. Or what would be the other, op the other option? What, what would be more, what could be more important than accuracy? What do you suggest? Um, and I'm just curious, maybe it's just like ease of use, right? Ease. Like notifications, okay. ease of use, maybe that's better than um, accuracy. Well, Mine's fairly accurate, but I'll tell you right now, I'm trying to tweak the algorithm and tweak the data sources to see what is most, most accurate in my local area. Um, it's going to get better and better, but like it could vary, you know, between like me and you or maybe me and uh, Oregon, like Oregon coast and Tillamook or something, you know? Now, those um, are definitely the two priority values is accuracy and ease of use because Sometimes I use surf-forecast.com for my surf forecast, and it's not yeah. accurate sometimes. I get out there, and the waves are not as predicted. Um, mm -hmm. And then, uh, and and that that can be a big waste of time if you get all prepared and you show up and you're like, oh man, this isn't this isn't mm -hmm. what I expected it to be. I thought the and wave energy was going to be under a hundred. That's why I came out to the reef with my swim baits, and I get here and it's over three hundred, and the the waves are yeah. three feet. I shouldn't even be at a rocky beach right now. Um, so accuracy is probably number one. Um, ease of use, it looks like you already kind of have that in the bag. Like you, you're you familiar with with the need for that. So you're already kind of integrating that. I, I'm not even worried about this thing being easy to use. I think it's going to be easy to use. But ease of use is really important because I don't use the NOAA.org website at all because it's not easy to use. I'm not, you know, you have to have the brain of a computer to interpret all that data. It's just too much information. So I like apps like surfforecast.com, um, windy uh my tides app because it just gives it is so easy to look at and read it just gives me a number and that's all that's all i'm looking for i don't i don't need to be on information overload so um ease of use is important i think you've got that in the bag now just focus on accuracy and i think that's going to be a mm -hmm. matter of pulling your data from the right sources like noa would be a great resource for noa mm -hmm. Great resource that's pretty much where all the apps the best apps get their information from and um also as far as the attributes go for good fishing conditions take that from the best fishermen don't take that from any fishermen talk to the most successful fishermen um along the coast and i could give you a list of a bunch of names of the best fishermen and they can give you their input on on what is the really the best conditions and you can take that and sort of put it into a spreadsheet plug it in and and then i, think I would love that yeah powerful <laughs> A really powerful tool. Thank you so much for creating this and for sharing this. Um, this is fantastic. Any final words for the yeah. group? Uh, thank you so much. Like, I, uh, please check this out and please uh, tear it down. Like, feel free to give feedback, honest feedback. I love honest feedback, good or bad. Um, and I'll try to make this the best tool. And you know, trying to keep it just free, easy to use, and just helpful. You know, that's the the you know that's the main goal. Is well, people actually use it. Does it make their does it make it easier, faster for them? And it's something they like to use on the regular. So. Uh, Okay. Thank you so much for having me, Vince. I really appreciate it. Sure, man. Thank you very much for sharing. I appreciate it as well. All right. Take care, my friend. I'm going to hit stop on recording.